So I just did a, uh, a bricks uh, brick sample of the barrel, and I'm sitting, you know, about where I was this morning at uh, zero point some odd. I mean, my hydrometer doesn't give exact. I did uh, did a uh, reading with the uh, uh, with the digital at uh, work today and it was uh, 0.2 so everything's finishing off really nicely what I really wanted to do was just take a sample uh, tonight and uh, and just see see how everything's tasting just kind of show you how how the whole setup is here um, got a little kind of tent basically around the barrel keeping everything as warm as possible, especially at this point. As you get further and further into fermentation, the yeast becomes more and more susceptible to, to temperature changes. So I'm trying to keep everything as, as stable as possible. Um, I don't know if you've seen the, I don't know, the basement, that's some glass back there that some of the uh, some of the wine will ultimately go into I come down here to show you I've got a, uh, a heater down here and two two carboys I don't know if you can see that or not but they're down there it's trying to keep everything maintained. Maybe turn that up just a bit. Yeah, I can put this on a oscillator. So you can see that it uh, can rotate around, which is nice. Keep everything flowing rather than stagnant heat, just sitting on one point. So, come back over here, maybe taste a little bit of the juice. Mm -hmm. Really nice. A lot of stone fruit and verging into even tropical aspects on the entrance. A lot of still that citrusy kind of grapefruit aspect. I can kind of show you my my setup down here. I just cleaned the floor, so it's still a bit of water down here. I've got I've got a fan that uh, is keeping the uh, the water moving and not stagnant. I'll come back down here in a few moments and and squeegee everything again. But uh, I've got uh, potassium carbonate. And citric acid, and come over here. We've got a drain over here. So there's the drain, and I've got hot water. There's my hot water hose. Being that it's a basement, I've got washer and dryer, and that's where the hot water hookup comes from. My wife is actually very understanding with everything that goes on <laughs> she uh, she says could you possibly hook up the hot water back to the washing machine because I need to wash some clothes and I don't have a problem with that but this is a nice nice little setup I've got uh, tons of room down here which is great so I need to 
do something real quick. Come back over here to the potassium carbonate. turkey baster down there. I'll clean off my hydrometer. I'll put that in the citric acid. And then I'll come over here and rinse this off real quick. I have to remember to turn the water on. go. A little quick rinse. Put this back over here. I have a slight little drain on this. dry out for a moment. I'll be back down here and I'll get it up. You know, ultimately what I want to do is uh, have all of this back over here. You can see my little workstation back over here. Um, this will, I don't know, see this, but uh, little table got a vice grip back over on the other side and that'll be my workstation eventually I'll put up a peg wall over here where I can hang everything It'll be really nice but you know this is my first first time of doing home winemaking so that's that. The flavors are really nice. I'll come back over here and maybe do this. I'll take this back up the stairs. So, turn the lights off. back up into the house. Sorry, I left you in the dark. Come back up into the into the kitchen. A little Grateful Dead playing. I walk into the dining room. It's a mess. All sorts of stuff going on. We'll chase it and see. Mm. Really quite nice. Alright. Taste for Bye bye.